What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I am excited to be finally announcing that I am going to be putting the motor all together. I'm just waiting on a couple parts, but we should be able to get started and uh, hopefully those parts will come in this week, maybe next week. So the three main parts that I'm waiting on are the rods, uh, head gasket, and the head studs. Other than that, I have pretty much everything as far as just the engine goes. Uh, I still gotta order a clutch. I already know what clutch I'm running, uh, but I gotta order my clutch. I gotta do a little bit more turbo thing and get my manifold situated and all that. Uh, so I still have quite a bit of work left to do, uh, but uh, as far as assembling the engine, I am uh, pretty close. So I have bearings, I have crank, I have pistons, um, pretty much everything. When I do start to assemble the motor, I will give all the specs as to uh, how much it's poured over and what exactly I'm doing, how much horsepower I'm trying to push out of this thing. Uh, but for today, we're just gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna be painting the block just because it looks ugly and If I'm putting all this money and time into it might as well make it look good So you can see there's a little bit of what looks to be like surface rust and it just looks it just looks ugly I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just gonna be uh, doing uh, Some black the whole plan with this is to make it look kind of like an OEM plus option uh, So I'm not gonna be having a, a big turbo top mount turbo and all that I'm going to try to make it look as sleeper as possible, um, and at least that's the goal that I'm going for. Uh, it's it's going to sound loud, and it's going to be loud, and you're going to hear the blow valve, and you're going to hear everything, but it's going to look stock. Uh, at least that's what my plan is. I'm also going to be simplifying this uh, factory intake manifold, uh, throwing in my new injectors, getting rid of all the EGR, smog stuff, the butterflies, all of that. So I will be making videos on everything that I do, but what I'm thinking is I'm going to be doing... Uh, small videos that are detail oriented. Uh, so ex for example today We're just gonna be painting the block and be showing you guys how I'm painting it just simply painting the block and then on another day I'm gonna be uh, showing you guys uh, putting the pistons and rods together and then we can start to put them in the motor And then put the crank in first obviously put the bearings on make sure that all the tolerances are good and so on and so forth just because I want to make this kind of a learning experience for you guys and uh, in case I ever blow this motor up again or I need to change something I can go back to my videos and see how I did it so a good way to do it is get some masking tape put it on there and then rub the edges that way you can see the outline or the print if you have a dirty fingers it helps a little bit just push that on there good make sure it's not gonna come off and then you get a razor blade it doesn't have to be sharp but you just drag this along like so and it'll cut it kind of hard to do with one hand it'll cut it and then you'll be able to peel it off and then you get something like this and then you just repeat that process on all of them I got it all masked up for the most part. I just don't have to do this uh, little piece right there. But I did uh, tape up the little dowel pins. That way it's easier to slide into the trans since they are a pretty tight uh, tolerance. I am gonna paint tomorrow since it's already uh, pretty dark out. I did start at like 7.30, it's probably like 8.20 now. Uh, so the sun's already down and uh, I'll just wait till tomorrow that way I can get it nice and warm, let it sit outside in the sun for a little bit, and then that way I could just throw the paint on and have it stick really nice and good. Sorry for the washing machine in the background, I know you guys hate that. But I got the first coat on there. Uh, this is a pretty light coat. Kinda like the way it looks. It was either this or a matte finish. And uh, I don't know why, I thought this would look better. Not that I was expecting it to be super glossy, but uh, I think the matte would just make it look old and the semi-gloss I think would make it look uh, kind of like a new engine, what it would look like from factory at least. But it's also wet so it's a little bit shinier than, than it actually is. But I'm gonna wait for this to uh, dry for a couple more minutes and then give it another uh, layer of paint.
So for anyone wondering, this is what I'm using to paint it. It's some Rust-Oleum engine paint. It's rated for 500 degrees. Uh, engines typically get to around a uh, high 300 max. Uh, so this should be uh, plenty, but uh, they do sell uh, like I believe 1,200, 1,500 and 2,000 degrees. Uh, so depending on what you want to do, uh, you don't want to use regular paint because it will burn and might possibly catch on fire. It's going to chip off regardless, but it might uh, burn on your engine, which is obviously not a good thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and are excited for a lot more videos like this to come. See you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.